I'm going to walk you through how to make the over the plug phone holder. So we're going to use the rectangle to your page is defaulted to A3 so that's going to be plenty big enough. We're going to click the rectangle and before we draw anything just double check that grid lock is on so you can see the button looks like it's depressed in there. Okay click and when you click if you can see where it says rel down here when you start the first dot that you click it goes to zero zero we're going to move our over the um, plug phone holder to 300 by 90 so it should say 390 separately next to rel at the bottom so we start with a rectangle just like this our first line going across then so we're going to now change to the line tool in the top left corner we're going to draw a line two dots in so that's the equivalent to 20 millimeters straight down keeping it vertical so on rel now you should see zero and minus 90 so that makes sure that we, we know we're going vertically because it's zero on the x-axis on the first number okay we're then going to leave a slightly bigger gap this time so you can see again if we're moving it on rel you can see the gap where it was zero before the first number going up and up and up so we're going to make that fit your phone. So I'm going to make, for my example, I'm going to make that 80 and draw the line vertically down. So you can see we've got these lines where our over the, over the plug phone holder is going to be bent. So that's a start, that's just the start of our, of our um, design. Okay, we're now going to customize it. We're going to put the hole in for the, uh, the bit that goes over the plug and then we're going to start to change the colors of parts of our designs and make sure it's a little bit customized as well. So let's start with a hole. So we're going to start with a circle and we're going to draw that into the middle here. You can see that because it's 90 wide, we can't find the middle because half of 90 is 45. So there's not a dot on five. So before we can draw any circles, we're going to double click the grid in the top corner here. So we'll double click that grid. We we'll change X to five. And we can also then change y to 5. So x is now 5, y is 5 as well. And then I can click OK at the bottom. And you can see the dots have now gone a lot closer. So let's draw a line. We're going to delete this line out afterwards, but it's just going to guide me where to put the circle. I'm going to make sure that when I draw this line, the angle is 225 so that means it's a 45 degree angle going downwards and you can see on rel it says minus 45 and 45 okay so that makes sure I'm in the middle and I'm the same distance from the side here and from the top the circle then that's going to be the center and I'm going to draw this out until it is 35 0 on rel which gives it a 35 millimeter radius that's 70 millimeter diameter so that should fit over your your plug quite easily i'm now going to click on the select arrow the black arrow on the top left corner pick the line that we used for a guide and press delete okay what i'm going to do now is just to start customizing the design slightly so let's use the arc tool i'm going to left click on the arc tool and hold down and go to the the option at the end to draw a filleted curve between two lines so i'm going to hold down on that asks me for the radius here. I'm going to make that 20 millimeters and click OK. You can then click your lines that you want the curve between. So you can see that goes on there, that one on there, and I'm going to do the same on the bottom here and this side as well. So that's all the curves I'm going to put in for now. I'm also going to add a hole at the front here in a nice oval shape for my charger to go through if I want the lead to go underneath, behind, and then back up to my phone. Okay, so hold down on the circle. You can see we've got loads of circle options, so none of them are going to make the oval we want. So let's hold down on the rectangle. You can see all these shapes. We've got different hexagons, pentagons, all sorts. We've got skewed ovals of all different ways you can draw them, triangles and everything. Okay, so we're going to pick this oval that we draw. The red dots indicate how you draw it, so only click in the middle and then click to the corner. So in the center again, making sure we're in the middle there. We're going to click rel goes to zero zero we're going to go three dots out and one to the side and we've got nice a nice oval there that's going to get the, the charger through really really easily okay so they're, they're the starting bits just of our design we're going to put some grooves in for the wire to wrap around and add some engraved features onto this as well just now so we're going to start with the wire 
wrap now. So we're going to do this with a circle. With the circles, we're going to go about 20 millimeters from the edge, and we'll draw a circle with a five millimeter radius. So it's just giving us a small gap there. Then we're going to move 40 millimeters across. So I'm using the rel at the bottom to know how far I'm going. Small circle drawn, 40 again, small circle drawn. And then if we go down to the bottom, we can see we're zero. So now we're going to offset it. So go 20 left. So it says minus 20 on the rel, small circle. Then we can go 40, so the gaps are even to the top. There, so you can see the wire can wrap around quite nicely. We're now going to delete the parts of the circles and lines that we don't want. So undelete any. If we use that, that would delete the whole circle. So we don't want that. So undo last. Okay. Hold down, delete any. And we can go to the second one along, delete part. And what that means now is that we can delete these halves of the circles that we don't want. And we can also delete these little lines now that we no longer need. So you can see we've created those indents into our design. Okay, so our design now is looking a little bit more custom. It'll go over the plug, the wire can wrap around, it can come up through there, we've got space for our phone. The problem is that these two lines here are going to ruin our design because they'll cut straight through the acrylic and then that means we'll have three sections, whereas actually we want to just fold the acrylic there or bend it using a strip eater. So I'm going to select the line, go to line colour at the top, click on col and select the green from the bottom colours there. I'm going to do the same on this line. Click on the line, line colour, so click on col, green, and click OK. And there you have it. That's our basic design. What we can do now is use the ABC tool. So I've clicked ABC, clicked where I've wanted it. I'm going to type in my name. You can use any words you want as long as they're not offensive. I just recommend putting your name or something like that, and it's quite nice. Go to the settings, and we need to make sure this is perfect for the laser cutter. So the line colour is green again. We'll go to fill and we're going to click on no fill and then we're going to just make this height here 10 millimeters so we're going to make it quite a bit smaller half the size in fact of what it was and select any font that you like so let's go for seago oh, it's a little bit boring isn't it that one let's go for something a bit different we'll go for stencil okay and okay again you can see the writing is on there, so that means my writing is going to be vertical up my piece. And I'm going to move it just slightly towards the edge, just as a bit of a design feature, having it on the side there. And that then is my over-the-plug phone holder pretty much done. Just before you finish now, we need to make sure we click File. We can click Save As and put it into your product design folder. And what I also want you to do is click on File and go to Export. When you go to Export, put it into your product design folder, but we need to change a file type here to a DXF, and that's putting it into a language that the laser is going to understand. That is the file that I then want you to email to myself so that I can get that laser cut for you for next lesson. Okay, you click save, that will go into your product design folder once you've selected the correct folder from this drop down, and then you can email me that separately. Good luck, and I hope it looks as good as mine does.